Hello everyone and welcome back to the next video in the series of TIPCO Spotfire and as you can see in your screen we are going to discuss about how we can load data into the Spotfire okay and there are various ways in which we can load data into the Spotfire but we will be focusing this video only with the data loaded in the Spotfire using a flat file so I'm going to discuss all the other ways but this video is using a flat file Okay, meanwhile, let's move forward and see what are all the other ways in which we can load the data into the spot fire. Yeah, so very first question, what are all the ways? And uh, here are the listed ways. First is using a flat file. Another one using database connections like Oracle, SQL Server, etc. Third one is by using web services and another one is ODBC, OLEDB or ADO.NET. And below we have the screenshot of all these ways in which we can pull the data into the spot file. So you can see there are a connect to browse local files and all. So if you want you can get a quick look and anyways we are going to do it in the upcoming part of the video. Okay, so let's start with our spot file. So I have the spot file open here and you can see this is the spot file analytic window. And in this window, you can see some recommendation here, connect to browse local files and others. So let me tell you about recommendation, what exactly recommendation here is. Recommendation are your previous JXP that you have opened into the spot file. Connect to is your, is your all the database connections that you can made with the help of spot file. Let me give you some example or hence like MySQL, Odata, Oracle and SQL Server, etc. So, uh, yeah, so Spotify provides a large number of database connections and large number of connectors also. Then browse the local file. So with this option, you can browse to your local system and connect to a flat file or something. Okay, uh, any file like text, Excel, CSV and all. Okay, let's move on to another option that is called other. So other we have data copied to the clipboard and manage data connection. All the data connection that you have made, you can manage those data connection with the help of this option. Then moving forward, we have load data with ODBC, OLEDB and ADO.NET data providers. Okay, so you have must be heard of uh, ODBC data sources and all, uh, Microsoft uh, data sources and all. Those can be connected with the help of this option. That is all that I can tell you about this window right now. And we have some other features, but uh, by the time we are using this dashboard, to dashboarding tool we'll get to know about all the other features so let's start with importing a flat file into a spot file and start creating a dashboard okay so let me browse it okay so i, I have already uh, orders file uh, it's a flat file csv so let's import it it will take a while to import yeah it's imported now so in this particular data preview tab you can see what all we have in the excel also if you have rows or columns which have data with comma separation you can segregate as we do it in excel so this option is for that it's not necessary it should be separated by comma any other symbol or space you want to segregate the data it can do the work and then you know you can change the format here Unicode format or encoding format here and here in the preview tab you can see the name or I say column name of every column into the excel sheet then type is the data type like integer or whatever we have real and string okay and later on you can change it also here in the preview tab itself so whatever you will change here it will go into the dashboard as it is so let's see what all options we have so we have string integer real currency and so on okay and another good thing about this is you can ignore the rows if you want to so these rows will be ignored and the data everything else which is not ignored will be moved to the dashboard as it is okay so let's uh, it's not a name row i think yeah, it's a name row so let's move and see how this data look into a dashboard it's loading data into the dashboard here it is showing what data we have added to the analysis with the loaded data into the dashboard you can see this screen where it can you know start with suggesting you some type of visualization or something and you can do your analysis further on but here you must have a question where is the data i cannot see it 
so let me show you where your data is so you click here and this is the pane where you can see all the visualization that Spotfire have and click on the table you can see your data will be populated into a table so this is the order data table that I have imported through a flat file and here you can see all the data that I have into the particular Excel okay so this is you know this is also kind of a dashboard and uh, you can publish this particular dashboard into the library also so before going further and telling you more about I can tell you something in here so a very good feature that has recently been added to this Spotfire is a data canvas so what is the data canvas if you see this connected dot or I say connected data sets it is the data canvas once you click on this you'll be able to see what all data you have into the Spotfire so here is the flat file that I have added into the Spotfire here is the name you can rename it replace it or show in user interface that is a different thing you can check or uncheck it okay and let's say what we can do here with this plus option so when we add this uh, or I say click this you can add the hierarchy of the column so hierarchy of the column is if you are familiar with the data we can add the columns that are related to each other or a parent column there, there must be a relationship be a being added into the columns so we can do it with the help of this and then we can add the calculated column so what exactly a calculated column is calculated columns are the columns that are based on other columns where we have used some aggregation or some functions okay next we have this particular sign plus sign right next to our data set so what does it do let me tell you you can add different data tables or data from different data tables into this particular data table with the help of this plus sign earlier doing all this was a lot difficult but with the new version of Spotfire it made easy okay so this plus sign will help you to add some rows calculated column and transformation etc okay so let's click on transformation what transformation can do transformation can calculate our column and replace it calculate create a new calculated column and lots of functions and pivot and pivot your data so these are the things that you learn with you know experience and if I'll tell you more of uh, dashboarding uh, examples you'll get to see some of them. this video here and what you have learned today is how to import data through a flat file into the Spotfire and how to create a simple table tabular dashboard into the Spotfire if we unclick this data canvas here or click it again you can see our dashboard that we have created we have changed nothing it's directly excel pulled into the spot fire but good thing is we can publish into uh, publish this into our library so uh, that's for it that's it for today and we'll meet in the next video thank you